What's up? Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today, I was talking with with uh, my friend Brandon's dad, who was in a pilot. He was a pilot. He was. What was he? He was a. Um, I think he was in the airlines, and he also did charters, and like flew private jets and stuff like that, and um, flew stuff around here actually in this town that I'm at right now, which was really cool. And he learned and he did his training in San Diego, which is a cool place. It's a really cool place. But I was talking to him, he was kind of telling me some ideas about flying and what he did and what he suggests doing. And, and uh, he had some really good information, and it was a cool conversation. And uh, he told me to go to, or he said he liked Part 141 schools, which were the more structured, like like the ones that usually go along with colleges. And uh, there are 141s that don't, but the 60s ones are the ones that are like by themselves, and they're just small schools and. And you kind of go at your own pace and stuff. And so, previously, I had decided on part 61. And I was going to do it because, I mean, you kind of build your own schedule on there. However often you want to fly, however often you can afford to fly, and however often the um, planes and the instructors are available to fly. And that's just... How often you end up flying where the part 141 I mean, lots of people complain that they don't get a fly very often and um, but it's supposed to be a lot more structured and you go at this time this day and you're working on this and you can see what you're working on three months down the line and, and it's cool they both seem they both seem to have some good points and stuff but the longer that I drag out learning how to fly, the more people I talk to, the more pilots. And uh, kind of interesting how all of them have something different to say. And, and a lot of their answers when you ask certain questions like, well, it depends on your learning style and how you do things and stuff. And that's kind of what I learned today is that you just have to start. Just start, and then you can always adjust things as you go. And you can always move things around, try different things. If something's not working, do something different. And I mean, that's one thing that I think my mom that's trying to help me with this flight school, and she's doing a pretty good, pretty good job helping me. But she kind of has shiny object moments where she's like I'll decide on something and then she'll be like oh that looks good over there you should try that and then she goes to the next one and then something else catches her eye and it's kind of it's tough but because there's so many different options and when I think I decide on one she finds one that looks better and that's a good thing and I'm grateful for that, but it's hard. Because then you can never find, you never end up, I never end up starting because I figure there's a better one that she's just going to find if I just wait a little longer and just wait a little longer. And I mean, this is with a lot of things I just struggled with starting on and um, that I've wanted to do. And I just, never started like I said I was going to sell solar panels and then I said I was going to sell cars and then I said what else did I say I was going to drive a truck and I just never started but the idea of doing it was so cool but now I decided I'm just going to start I'm just going to go and just pick the one that looks the best and um, I just need to start because I just need to start flying you know I need to start learning and well, I already started learning. I kind of already started flying with the simulator, which has been really cool and super helpful, I think. But 
that's the story for today is just start. That's what I learned. But anyways, today, what do we do? So I woke up, uh, we went, had some breakfast, and uh, had an amazing combo breakfast burrito. Man, it was so good. And then came home. I was going to go outside and finish raking the hill, raking the pine needles off the hill. But then my friend Brandon called, and I talked to him, and he, his feelings were kind of hurt, so, because I was talking to him yesterday while I was raking the hill, and he really wanted me to play Fortnite with him, and I didn't, so I told him, fine, I'll play one game with you, we ended up playing, like, five, but played with him and then it was rest day so it was Wednesday so I didn't go to the gym but I made a smoothie that was really good and then my uncle came over and um, could have some news some really cool news available pretty soon because yeah we'll have to wait till tomorrow and I might be able to tell you about it but other than that, that was cool. Came over and uh, kind of helped me realize too that because I was just telling him my my um, frustration with flight schools and stuff, and he's like, "Well, you know," because he's a big baseball fan and he's a big baseball player, and he's like, "All the schools are going to teach you the same thing. I mean, in the end, they're just teaching you how to fly the plane." And, and everything that goes along with it. They're just trying to make you a good pilot, just like with baseball. You go to, you go to uh, any school that you want, and you just choose the one that that gets you in the puts you in the best position, right? So, like in his case, he said, just go to the one that gives you the most job offers. But I can't, you can't get a job flying a plane until like until you have 240 hours. So flying and you have your commercial license which is a little bit down the road but I kind of got the point and uh, so I talked to him and then he left and then I was researching some more flight schools and then my grandpa got home and we had some dinner I made a salmon packet it was so good with the salmon quinoa rice with spinach and salmon and olives and blue cheese and and um, lemon juice and olive oil and you put it in the foil and you put it in the oven and oh my gosh 425 degrees for 25 minutes and then you open it and you put it back in for five minutes to melt the blue cheese it was so good it was a little bit overcooked but it was so good and then we watched some uh, greg gutfield Fox News, which he's always super funny, and we're here, so that's going to about wrap it up, I'm about to get on the flight simulator and do that for the rest of the night, and hopefully get some good grades on there, but if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and remember, if you always do what you've always did, you always get what you've always got, I'll see you in the next one.